welcome back to the channel. I'm appearing on screen, so that can only really mean one thing. It's time for a new guitar. And you've seen it in the thumbnail already, I'm sure. This is my latest acquisition. It is a sterling version, so with the budget edition, of a design that was, uh, I believe, penned by Anne Clark of St. Vincent. And uh, from what I understand, it was designed to look like a dress, which I, I get. I can kind of see that. Um, and it is, without shadow of a doubt, one of the coolest new guitar shapes that I've seen in the last 10 years. Um, or beyond, even. I think, for a time, Gibson were probably blazing the trail. Certainly through the 60s and 70s with their abstract uh, guitar shapes. And they haven't really in my opinion, improved on some of the uh, wilder designs uh, of the past. This, I think, easily slots into that space. Um, and as you can tell, I do like my weirder, more abstract designs. But uh, I don't like them too crazy. I don't like them too uh, weird and out there. So this, for me, is perfect. I really love this little kind of V as well on here, so you've got a sloping contour, which I really like. Um, it just gives a, it gives it a little bit more dimension, I think. Um, just makes it look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more striking. I really like that. Um, obviously, this being the Sterling, not the Ernie Ball edition, um, it was a, a quite a bit cheaper. I actually traded um well part traded some things for for this from uh, from a very kind person on uh, instagram so thank you to steve i didn't think it would have been my first choice this color or this particular shade of blue rather um i'll put on the screen just here if uh, you want to see the uh, probably the most common color that they come in um which uh, i think you'll agree is very very cool i do like that bold royal blue kind of look however now that i've got this i kind of prefer it i think this kind of powder blue or pastel sky blue um i think it fits in really well with the uh, uh the other guitars that i've got it kind of fits in color wise uh, quite well i think uh, to those um, I really love these knobs as well, these really cool triangular knobs, which I've never seen on anything else. I presume they did them specifically for this guitar, because they work really well, and they've even got an angled kind of top to them, which kind of mirrors the uh, the angled top as well. Um, that Oh, the uh, fretboard markers are really cool as well. Check those out, these kind of infinity kind of logo things uh, on each fret. Um, they're very, very nice. I like them. Very stylish. A little bit different. Headstock is very small. Check that out. <laughs> you probably can't even gauge fully or get the full uh, impact of just how small that headstock is. But uh, honestly, it's tiny, which is actually quite nice, I think. Um, one of the things that I always uh, thought, looking at these guitars online, is that they're quite uh, an awkward shape, or quite long, kind of like my uh, my Firebird, if you will uh, remember my review of that. Uh, one of the kind of criticisms of that, if you can call it a criticism, is that it is just a very long guitar, uh, and the headstock as well kind of comes like way out here. It's... Uh, it's very easy to smash it on things, so I'm always a little bit paranoid playing that. I'm I'm constantly worrying about where where I am <laughs> either end and uh, what am I going to hit. Um, this not so much. So uh, this tiny headstock and 
um, this kind of cutaway here means that when you're playing or standing up with it, certainly, it's not actually taking up that much space around you. It certainly doesn't um, jut out in this direction or in that direction. So I like that about it very much. Uh, it's definitely not anywhere near as awkward uh, to use, to hold, uh, to have, to wear, uh, or to have on your lap as it might look. Um, it is actually the opposite. It's very, very comfortable. It sits perfectly on your lap. And um, I like it a lot. It's very cool. Playing-wise, I wasn't expecting too much. Um, being a budget guitar, I was very much aware that there could very well be issues with the uh, uh, the neck and bridge and different things, hardware, all of the areas that uh, traditionally I think companies cut corners on. Um, and uh, I'm very, very pleased to say that uh, it's it holds up really well to scrutiny. Um, it plays really well. It's been set up, I think, <laughs> the previous owner uh, did tell me that the um, the guitar tech who worked on this and set it up uh, for him uh, was uh, previously used to work for Jimmy Page. So uh, whether he was uh, whether he was uh, dispatched from working with him because he was because he wasn't good enough, or whether he just retired and left of his own volition, I don't know. But uh, he certainly seems to have done a great job with this. So uh, I think it was probably the latter. But uh, yeah, it's been set up really well. Very, very little um, buzzing. Everywhere on the neck seems really nice. Um, action, perfect for me. Uh, very, very low, but it's not, uh, it's not too low so that you can start getting start catching uh, notes or notes dying out on you um, so yeah it's been set up really well this and plays fantastically I don't think there's anything really on here that I'm going to be uh, having to concern myself with upgrading it's pretty much awesome as it is uh, the only area of criticism that I have for this thing the bridge um, it's a Two post trem bridge, um, no back plate on this one, although the screw holes indicate there was one at some point. Um, it's got a nice big block in the uh, the trem cavity, so that's cool. Um, but I've so far found it to be, mm, I would say, probably not the most stable of any uh, tremolo bridge that I've come across. Uh, which is disappointing, especially being a two-post, it kind of automatically makes you think that's going to be pretty solid and uh, not a, a budget uh, one that goes out of tune all the time. But um, yeah, maybe it just needs a little bit more work or uh, attention, but then it's been set up so it shouldn't need anything like that. The only thing I think is maybe the uh, springs are a bit rubbish. Maybe it needs, uh, I think the previous owner did say he had a different set of springs on here and I think he blocked off the trem as well. So I would probably consider doing the same thing, to be honest. I don't really use a trem on a guitar anyway. I usually don't bother um, and the arms just kind of get in my way. So I think I'll probably do the same as he did. Block the trem off, um, either change the springs or just... Uh, screw them like way back so they're super tight that's probably what I'll do just to kind of keep the uh, uh, tuning stability as rock solid as I can the sound we will get to that in a minute I'll plug in and uh, have a play uh, before I do that the pickups sound I think fantastic they're really really solid really nice clear Bright and punchy, how how I like it really. I don't like humbuckers that sound too dark or muddy. Um, these are a nice balance. Also, the five-way kind of Strat style switch here, um, which again feels really nice. Uh, you get clear kind of clicking between each setting, so there's 
you can easily tell which um, setting that you're in, which I like. Positions two and four uh, are coil split, as far as I can tell. It certainly sounds like it uh, for each of these humbuckers. So middle, first and fifth positions, you get full humbucker capability from the bridge and the neck, or obviously both. And then you've got coil split bridge or coil split neck, uh, which I think makes this an incredibly versatile instrument. Um, I think it would probably, it certainly has the great potential to be my number one, certainly number two. Like, this could be a really solid uh, second or you know, backup uh, guitar, especially if you need the humbuckers for, uh, for anything a bit punchier. Um, I usually go with my Strat a lot of the time, or the uh, uh, Yamaha SGV. Uh, that has a really nice uh, single coil sound to it as well. But if you need something with humbuckers, um, I think this would be a really cool uh, second guitar to switch to in a pinch. Um, but as I say, it does have the single coil capabilities, so you could use this as a backup for your single coil sounds as well, um, if you break a string or whatever playing live. Um, so I think that's probably what I'm going to be using this for. I will keep this as a, uh, a backup guitar for whenever we get to uh, play live next as a band. It's been a long time, but uh, that's a separate issue. Um, I'm going to plug in now. Uh, it's pretty late, so I'm not going to plug into my uh, my main amp or uh, or anything. So uh, I'm just going to go direct and uh, record some some direct tones with my uh, Nuex Amp Academy. So uh, I'm going to do that now. Enjoy. <laughs> 